Understanding ear and the structure of ear is extremely important. Overall, what we understand is that the main function of ear is to hear. But besides hearing, another important function is balancing the body. So let's understand the structure of ear. So here we have a 3D model to understand the ear structure. If I classify this model carefully, I can say the section beyond this is what is known as external ear. The white segment that you can see is a segment depicting middle ear and then towards the inner side we have what is called as the inner ear. So let's understand each of these segments one by one. The external ear that I can feel here is what is known as pinna. It is also known as auricle. Now what is the function? The function is to detect the sound waves, transfer it to the inner ear and amplify the sound. So amplification of the sound, detection of the sound waves is the main function. Now this pinna does not have any bone that means I can bend it in any form. So let me zoom it and I can show you if I am bending it right you can see that when I am bending it uh, this section does not have any bone. That means this pinna is made up of cartilage right the outermost boundary or the outermost ridge is what is known as helix again this pinna amplifies the sound detects the sound takes it to the canal that we can see inside our ear and this is known as the external acoustic meatus External acoustic meatus is the canal that takes the sound waves to the tympanic membrane. So there are two important membranes on either side. So the side here is where you have the tympanic membrane. Now tympanic membrane is the point where the external ear ends, the middle ear starts as simple as that. Now. This tympanic membrane is also called as in very simple language eardrum. It is semi-transparent and it is oval in structure, very thin, semi-transparent. The signal from the external ear is taken into middle ear through the tympanic membrane. And then in the middle ear, there are four, three important bones which are known as MIS, malleus, incus, and stapes. Stapes is the smallest bone and towards the end of the stapes is where you have the oval window. Now important to note oval window connects middle ear to inner ear. Tympanic membrane connects external ear to middle ear. Clear? M is the malleus which is hammer in shape. It is one of the largest ossicles which is present and I is the incus, it is the middle bone and this is anvil shaped. Stapes is the smallest bone, opens into oval window which is also known as fenstra ovalis. Okay, now this is the foot plate where the stapes touch. Now this external acoustic meatus is the passage where you have the ear wax that is generated. Now this ear wax which is generated is interesting because this is secreted from a gland which is known as ceruminous and it secretes the cerumen, cerumen wax or which is known as the ear wax. Now this ear wax actually deposits around the external acoustic meatus. The lower part of the external ear it was is what is known as lobule. Now lobule is actually fat rich so it has a lot of adipose tissues and again a lot of blood capillaries. So it is rich in blood capillaries. Clear? So we have understood the structure of outer ear or what we call as the external ear which is visible to us. Then the middle ear made up of three bones. Now, I'll just remove it for the convenience and we'll focus on to the inner ear. That's this section. So beyond this is the inner ear. Now coming on to the inner ear, 
these structures as you can see three of them so two of them are visible and the third one is like this so three of these are called as semicircular canals semi circular canals now these semicircular canals actually are three one is interior the other is posterior and the third one is the lateral one and they sense the movement clear now with this um, semicircular canal that is present this blue ring that you can see is what is known as membranous labyrinth okay this membranous labyrinth is filled with fluid and helps you to maintain equilibrium position so what is the function of this membranous labyrinth the function of this membranous labyrinth is to provide an equilibrium position and this is also one of the important organs which is used for hearing the next to it is the circular part now here as you see there are cristae ampulla and macula now ampulla is used for rotational movement macula is used for linear movement so when i say linear movement it is up down movement ampulla is used for rotational movement that is left right movement clear so this is ampulla this is macula and then there is a cystrae now this cystrae is simply explaining the function of balance within the ear and within this cochlea this in inner ear has cochlea here you have the organ of corti the organ of corti is important because this is the place where you have auditory receptors so where are auditory receptors present in the organ of corti and the theories of hearing that we understand the vibration of the ears we understand here so that's a very important part which is organ of corti now within this organ of corti and the surrounding area there are three scala uh, scala tympani scala vestibula and scala media so all of these three are important there uh, then uh, that's 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 regarding this so uh, those are uh, the main ideas and then there is vestibule now vestibule is the chamber where you uh actually sense for gravity and positioning so those are some of the important key points now again when we talked about the middle ear we talked about malleus incus and stapes now stapes is the smallest bone attached to it is the smallest muscle which is known as stapedius muscle so with the stapes bone the attached muscle is the stapedius and of course that is again one of the smallest muscles so those are some of the key things that we have understood in the middle ear internal ear as well as the external ear the structure of the ear in one of the next lectures we would understand uh, the movements the, how the rotational movement and the linear movement takes place because of the ampulla and the macula and its role here so that was about the ear one of the very important sense organs we'll be covering many such comprehensive topics important for your need preparation stay tuned wish you good luck